Hello everyone, the sun is setting so there are some lines from my blinds, but I did try to film this video a little bit earlier today and it was way worse. So this is, these, these stripes are what it's going to be today, unless I kind of go like this. So, um, continuing from my last, oh, there we go. Continuing from my last video, I... Anyone? Okay. Continuing from my last video, I um, am pretty much going to the doctor again, and um, I was referred from the ophthalmologist to the neurologist to another neurologist to another ophthalmologist to the optometrist. So I went to the optometrist for vision therapy as I was referred by the previous op neuro-ophthalmologist that I went to. Oh, yes. It's been a lot of, a lot of things. And so I found one um, on ZocDoc because that's just the easiest thing to do. And I went to her and she was just like, I do vision therapy, however, I don't accept your insurance. So the only people in all of New York that do vision therapy and also accept your insurance is NYU's ophthalmologist, ophthalmologic, ophthalmologic, whatever, institute, um, which is across the street from Bryant Park. So she wrote me a referral to them and I tried to call them and the telephone prompt said that in order for them to see me, I have to fax the referral to them. Uh, faxing is so incredibly antiquated. I don't understand why I can't email it or I can't um, make the appointment on the phone. Like, I don't, I don't get it. So I have to figure out a way to fax this referral so i'm about to go to like one of those corner drug stores that are like super shady and see if they are willing to fax my referral for 25 cents you know it is what it is um and then get on a wait list for six months and hopefully be accepted into the program but no guarantee so because she couldn't do vision therapy for me um, she gave me an eye exam for like, this is my third eye exam, like in like less than six months. So her conclusions were, yes, I do have convergence insufficiency. No, I do not need glasses. I still have 20-20 vision. However, because of convergence, convergence insufficiency, like lazy eye, um, what they do for kids is they give kids glasses, which is why you see kids with like crazy eyes wearing like tiny little baby glasses. And I wasn't totally against the idea because I love glasses. I always have fake glasses and I'm just like, I'm not about to pass up an opportunity for real glasses. So she kind of fit me in a couple of lenses. And let me tell you, it's crazy because you don't think that you're unable to see until you realize that you can see all of a sudden. So in my previous video, I was saying that I can't like look at my finger from that close. Like it has to be pretty far away. And so she had like the little like glasses things that she like put. Um, and I was like holding them to my face and then she was like, can you see? Can you see with like a pen? And I was like, wow, holy crap. <laughs> and so the conclusion was to give me glasses, which I was very excited about. These are my first pair of real glasses. It's so great. So basically she wrote me the prescription. She wrote me the referral to NYU and she was like, goodbye. So I went to the front, gave them the stuff so they could make a copy. And they were like, okay, time to choose your glasses. You can either choose these ugly glasses that your prescription covers for free. And I was like, absolutely not. And I was just like, I want the biggest, ugliest pair of glasses that you have. Like Coke bottle disgustingnesses. And the owner was just like, okay. And so he brought me a couple and honestly like they just were not 
getting the bill. But I do have one pair that I settled on because honestly, what I really wanted from them was the um, prescription so I could go online to get my own glasses. And these are the biggest pair of glasses that they had in the entire store. And I am so excited to show you my brand new glasses. So these are DKNY, which is really not like a brand that I like, but I was going more for looks than branding. But here are my new glasses. I mean, I guess now that I'm looking at them on video, they are pretty big and annoying. But if I look at them in a mirror, I look freaking normal, man. I would really have wanted these to be bigger. But I think that they're cute and normal. And like now the sun is just everywhere, so I don't even know where to stand. There we go. Hey! <laughs> so it's not bad. Um, I'm going to take them off because they give me a headache. Because they're meant for like near, like reading. So even like the distance between here and my phone, which is about at arm's length, is too far away. However, if I like put them on and I look at something close, it's like I'm not wearing glasses at all. But kind of once I get to like here, like it's too far far away and then I can't see but anything closer I can and I also learned that I hold things too close to my face I was told I was supposed to hold reading material if I were to go like this you're supposed to hold reading material elbow length away from your face like this and I read like this and apparently that's not okay. Um, it's way too close. And even the doctor was just like, no, you have to hold it here. And I'm like, that's too far away. I can't see. Do you like my pillow? I was sitting on it before. So it's like up on my wall and not on my bed. So yeah, I learned that I have to hold things further away. But honestly, like, I read like this. And um, it's clear. I mean, this is clear too, I guess. I can even see it from here, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And my arm is completely outstretched. I don't know. I really don't plan on wearing these for that long just because it's kind of, um, it's for reading and I don't do a lot of reading. I think that when I'm working and cutting people's hair and holding it really close, then I'm sure that would help because this I can definitely see, right? But other than that, if I'm not working and I'm not like on the computer and stuff, you know, I don't think I'm going to be needing them. But definitely for work, I will need them. And definitely if I'm reading, which I did, I did get a couple new books, so... I will be doing that. I'll be using them. And, you know, it's really exciting. So, yeah. So, these are my new glasses. Just wanted to make a video to show everybody. I did get them adjusted, but I think I need to get them adjusted more. Not really sure. But here they are. I'm just so excited. So nerdy. I love them so much. All right. Well, that's pretty much for today's video. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.